Google has announced its own AI. Last night, Google's I.O. had so much to show us, especially in terms of AI. And there are tools they have announced specific for designers and creatives. And we can take advantage of it starting today, especially if you're in certain locations. Let's dive right into it. Let's start with the most important one, Google's own AI platform on Google search. So now instead of giving you only links to websites, blogs and articles, it is going to literally answer your queries that you've made to it. So if you ask it to give you ideas for your portfolio project uh, around a certain theme or around a certain topic, it will give you ideas around projects and it will also explain how to conduct user research. It will explain how to do design or how to conduct the whole project. You can even converse with this AI. So it's not just asking, it's also conversing. So instead of just asking des other designers for help, you can now ask Google's AI for help and it will give you responsive. Unlike ChatGPT, it has the latest information. It collects actual information and data from research papers and also cites these research papers. So if there's a research paper on say usability analysis, which is a uh, important part of UX design, it will cite certain paragraphs relevant for you and your project. So that will be really cool and it will help you out a lot in your day-to-day -day design tasks, in asking for advice on something and even doing research work. The next one is called Google Imagine. And this was again showcased on stage at Google I.O. And they basically showed how a basic text prompt was converted to an, a complete high quality, high fidelity image that was also upscaled so that you can use it on actual websites and apps, etc. Now they are promising that they'll be responsible with their AI. So this means that all the images created are unique, are not stolen from artists or stolen from photographers and have been created by the understanding that Google has from its years of Google images, Google search, and is able to provide you relevant designs and artwork and images for you. They are using a large language model. So each image will be very accurate to your description. Unlike some of the other tools which create vague images or create blurry images, which makes no sense. Now the next exciting one for UX designers specifically is called Google Project Tailwind. Tailwind again was shown showcase at IO as a research centric tool. Search for a certain topic you want to search for. For example, you're working on a car service application and you want to study how car services all across the world are making money their business models, etc. It will give you research papers. It will extract information from research papers and give you summary of research papers to study only the important parts, things which are important to you. So instead of now going through large text, large blogs, large articles, you can summarize it into easy to digest content for yourself or your team. You can even ask it to help you write a research. So if you're writing a research paper or you're doing research for your UX project, this is something that this tool can help you. This tool comes under Google Labs. So it's more experimental, more fun to use. It's not something that everyone is going to use, pick up and use, but the wait list is now out specifically for people in the US, unfortunately. Now you can easily convert your ideas, imagination and designs with the next tool into code. Yes, Bard AI, their actual official AI is going to be able to convert your ideas into code that you can implement on websites, apps, etc. So if you're a designer who wants to maybe develop an app, well, you don't have to now hire someone to write code. You can actually just go to this platform and this Bard AI will now start writing code for you as well. And hopefully better than ChatGPT. I tried ChatGPT for writing code for a Figma plugin I was working on. To no surprise, it was the worst experience ever. It was making so many mistakes and the code wasn't relevant to even my project. So again, a failure for AI when it comes to writing code, but Bard AI is trying to get away from that and trying to give you actual quality code for your projects. As an added bonus to the event, they showcased a new tool called Do It AI. Now, Do It AI is something that sits in the background 
and whenever you are writing an email making a presentation writing docs you can ask do it to do stuff for you so if you want to create a presentation on your ux projects no longer will you have to spend one or two hours in making a presentation to showcase to uh, investors showcase to stakeholders and other designers you can now just ask it to make a presentation for you now of course it's not a presentation creator at its core so you'll have to do some of the dirty work but most of the repetitive tasks and adding new content getting ideas for the text fixing your grammar everything will now be a part of this do it ai now do it ai is something which will be built into your google workspaces from day one so activate your google workspaces and get into these docs and slides etc to get the benefit of this tool now i'm i'm super excited for this one because my company uses google workspace for most of the tasks so this will be a nice addition to the team nice addition more value to the company as well now there were a ton of other updates including immersive google maps using ai models image editing using ai as well as a lot of cool android features as well however for that i ask you to go ahead and check out google io's video i will also give a summary video of the entire event by the verge so check out that summary video if you want to check out the whole google io in like six seven minutes apart from that if you like this video do give this a huge thumbs up and also tell me in the comments what you're most excited for out of this launch i am really eager to know your opinions in the comments i'll see you next time same place same time until next time take care god bless